so we wouldn't get that through proceedings. Um, thank you for all coming together today at short notice. It's appreciated. I'll hand over to Ms Finch. You'll just run through the housekeeping um, around today's committee and then we'll move forward from there. So Mrs Finch. Thank you, convener. Please note that the public section of the meeting will be recorded and published online for access um, at the conclusion of the meeting. Can all attendees please make sure that they switch off their camera and mute their microphone when not speaking. The camera and microphone should only be turned on when you're asked to speak. Guidance on how to do this has been um, issued to you previously. I'm now going to go through the membership list. So if, if the members can just confirm their attendance, please, when I read your name. So, convener. Uh, present. Councillor Houghton. Present. Councillor Wheeler. Yes, I'm here. Councillor Cameron. Yes, I'm here. Councillor Grant. Present. Councillor Hutchison. Present. Councillor Mackenzie. Present. Councillor Alex Nicholl. Here. And Councillor Yule. Here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Finch. Okay, um, the first item of business is to determine that today's uh, agenda is of urgent business. Are we happy to agree that it's urgent business? Agreed. 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 Oh. I see a hand pop up there. Sure, who's it? It's mine, convener. Okay, Councillor Yule. Uh, so you're just on a long list there, Councillor Yule. I couldn't see who it was. It's tail, <clears throat> tail end, Charlie. It seems to be my fate in life. Um, thanks, convener. I, I wonder if we could be told why it, the meeting is necessary to or it's necessary to deal with this business today rather than wait until what would have been the 3rd of November and is now the 10th of November for the uh, City Growth and Resources Committee. I don't have any real issue with it being uh, discussed mm -hmm. today, but I, I would like to know why uh, two weeks is of such vital importance, given that this project, um, well, this procurement process has gone on for a long time and a couple of weeks either way is presumably not the end of the world. OK, um, I think uh, Mr White will probably tell us that although it's not the end of the world, that the reason there is a reason for, for bringing it forward. But I'll bring in Mr White so that he can um, give the reasons around the, the urgency of the matter. Mr White. Thank you, convener. Um, yeah, there's a couple of reasons. Obviously, this is bringing to conclusion the procurement process that we've been through. Um, and we then go into a, um, I can't remember if it's a 10 or a 14 day standstill period. Um, so if we waited another um, couple of weeks and it would be the end of November before we'd be able to then progress the work, which is then required to come back in February. And the critical point of coming back in February is to ensure that the elected members um, have that information in front of them to allow them to determine how they want to progress their budgets, um, which would be in the beginning of March. So it is a timing issue around making sure that we've got the space and the time to engage with the preferred bidder to make sure that we can actually progress all of that work to pre present in front of the committee in uh, February. Okay, thank you, Mr. White. Thanks, Our, that, you know, that makes absolute sense. Thank you. And yeah, thanks, Mr. White. Okay, thank you, Councillor Yule. Okay, on that basis, are we happy to agree to take uh, today's business as urgent? Yes? That's Agreed. Consent from that? OK, thank you for that. Uh, next, we have to determine that the report which we have on the Hydrogen Hub preferred bidder appointment is an exempt report. Therefore, we will take that in private session. Are we happy to agree that? Agreed. Agreed. OK, thank you. Um, members declaration of interest. Do we have any declarations of interest? I have one hand up, but I think, Councillor Yule, that might be a legacy hand. Apologies. Thank you. Um, no declarations of interest. OK, that then concludes the public part of the meeting and we'll move into private session to determine uh, the Hydrogen Hub preferred bidder appointment.